Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. I'm going to have to mute this. In this video, we'll look at using multi table inserts, which allow an insert select statement to create rows in multiple destination tables. Multi table inserts were introduced in Oracle 9i and are useful for ETL processes in data warehouses where they can split flat data into multiple tables or pivot data. We create a user called test user 1 and grant it the create session and create table privileges. We connect to the new user and create a table containing 10 rows of dummy data. This will be the source table for some of the examples. If we query the table, we can see the source data. We create three destination tables as copies of the source table but without any data. The 1 equals 2 predicate is what filters out the data. Here's an example of an unconditional insert all. We know there are 10 rows returned by this query. For each row returned, we insert a row into the three destination tables. In this example, the source and destination tables have the same column structure but the into clause could specify different columns. As you would expect, inserting 10 rows into 3 tables results in 30 rows inserted in total. We can use this type of statement to pivot data. We create a table with a flat structure to represent a value for each weekday. We create 2 rows in the pivot source table. This is what the data looks like. We create a destination table to hold the pivoted data. Notice there's a day column and a value column, so each row represents a value for a single day from the original ID value. For each row returned by this query, we insert into the destination table five times, one row for each day of the week. Checking the destination table, we see the two rows of source data have been pivoted into five daily rows for each of the original IDs. In this example, we're still doing an insert all, but they're conditional inserts. For each row returned by this query, we check each of the conditions. If a condition is true, we insert. If a row has an ID of three or less, it gets put into the first table. IDs between four and seven go into the second table. IDs of 8 or more go into the third table. In this example, a single condition results in multiple inserts. Using the 1 equals 1 condition allows us to put data into the destination table for each source row. Here we use insert first. This now acts similar to a case expression. For each row in the source table, we work down the list of conditions, but we only do the inserts associated with the first condition that's true. This type of multi table insert can include an else as a catch all. As before, we can include multiple into clauses into a single condition or the else. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.